a lot of protests over protests here at Queen's Park today. Remember last week when the PC government cried foul and said protesters that brought a guillotine to the front lawn of the legislature here used it to behead an effigy of the premier? Well, the opposition is calling the minister who made that claim a liar. Protesters brought a bloodied guillotine to the grounds of Queen's Park. And you know what they did? They beheaded an effigy of the Premier. This is disgusting, and it is a sick act that has been condoned Order. by the opposition. The NDP is calling out the government after it sent out this fundraising letter asking for donations. The subject line is they want to cut off his head and adds this is serious before asking for donations as little as a dollar. Well, not only do they make money off of them, but it looks like they're making a whole bunch of stuff up. Uh, like we've said pretty clearly that uh, the symbols of violence are not something that uh, we think are appropriate. Uh, but look, the, the minister uh, lied about the fact that there was a, uh, you know, some kind of head uh, that was actually chopped off, and that didn't happen. That's not the truth, and she needs to apologize for the house to the house uh, for making that accusation. Because it's not true. I know you've mentioned there was a, a beheading of an effigy, but but there's no evidence of that whatsoever. Really? Okay. Um, maybe you aren't uh, seeing the same photos I am. Do you do you have? I'm, I'm sorry. Do you do you have photos of a beheading? I was given uh, photos from our team, so you can dig those up. But let me be perfectly clear: we stand by the fundraising email. We stand uh, by condemning uh, the tactics used by the left. Now, there are photos on Twitter of a guillotine, but not a single one of a beheading. Now, I asked the Premier's office and Minister McLeod's office for any photo evidence of a beheading of an effigy, but I did not get any. Lisa McLeod's office later told me that she misunderstood my question about the beheading. Now, McLeod also added that this female blast regarding the beheading was the most read by supporters, so they definitely turned this out to work in their favour. And another PC MPP, a little red faced today. Sam Oosterhoff's office called the cops on some book loving seniors yesterday because they wanted to stage a sit in, a read in, in his office. It was first reported by the St. Catherine Standard and has been widely mocked today. Oosterhoff said mistakes were made. Sam, do you think your office should have called? the cops on library loving seniors well I think we could have handled the situation better uh, but uh, my staff take very seriously and I do as well the the privacy and confidentiality of uh, constituents and I have a, a couple of grannies myself so I'll be I'm sure I'm gonna hear from them about it <laughs> And what will you say? <laughs> well I'm gonna say that you know we have to make sure that we're protecting the privacy oh don't and give me that line again <laughs> All right, we had a little laugh about it. Now, by the way, those seniors were protesting provincial cuts to the interlibrary delivery program. That's a service where libraries share books if they don't have a title and they deliver one to the other.